All right, guys, AFC Divisional matchup right here. This is going to be really damn good. This is going to be juicy. We got the fifth seed, Chargers, who just defeated the Baltimore Ravens yes. in an awesome show of performance Ooh. right there. They went in Baltimore, and they got their revenge against that defense. Now they're on the road against the number two seed, New England Patriots. Wow. UCF Jaguar is joining us for this pick. Yeah. Welcome, UCF. Hey, th guys, thanks for welcoming me here. It, it feels nice here. This feels right. I like being with you guys, and I like talking about football. So let's get it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 God. He's ready, son. I think he's ready. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? And before we get started, we want to say, if you're not subscribed to UCF Jaguar, there is just something damn wrong with you. Go subscribe to The link is in the description box down below. Oh, now, UCF, are you streaming for this game this weekend, too? I will be streaming for this game. I'll be streaming for a couple of the games. I'll be streaming for at least one of the games on Saturday on the uh, on my channel, another one on Entertainer's channel. And then uh, Sunday, I'll be streaming a game on my channel with Jet Central and a game on Jet Central channel with him. So, Yo, uh, you know, if you want to take a break from the sports stream, come by over to our stream, talk some shit, come back. It'll be a good time. Yo, shout, <laughs> shout out to JC, man. That's our yeah, boy over there. JC. All right, guys. So let's get into it. UCF mm. Jaguar, we're going to start off with you first. Now, now the Chargers right here. They are 7-1 and one on the road. Yes, They're they are. undefeated right here all so far in the playoffs. Probably the best road team in football this season. But they're going into New England where the Patriots are the best, the best home team. Yep. They have not lost all damn year at home. So, Patriots are four-point favorites. What do you see going down, and who do you have? Well, it's kind of interesting because you said that the Chargers are, what, 7-1 and one away? Yep. But you also look at the Chargers against the Patriots, and they never beat – I don't think Phil Rivers has ever beaten Tom Brady. It's it, It's been incredible just the – oh, I see I see you disagreeing. No, I'm no, I'm just saying. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. Go yeah, on. because I think I, – I saw where they, they don't they don't beat them. So it's so right, tough yeah. with this game. And, like, yeah, you know, nice. you, you yeah. look at the matchups and, like, logically – I really, really want to take the Chargers because I think the Chargers are the better team right now. It's interesting. You look at the Patriots, and it almost doesn't seem like they had all that great of a year. You know, everyone's kind of talking down on them. But then next thing you know, you know, you look at the playoff seating, and they have a have a home bye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's always interesting with this with the way the Patriots work. I mean, most NFL fan bases, if they get a playoff bye, they're they're rejoicing. They're going all up in airs. But you know, earlier in the season, you guys are people were asking Bill Belichick questions about are the Patriots back, and he's like. Or are the Patriots down? It's just like it's 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 week three. <laughs> it was funny, but uh, I mean, with this game, it, it's so it's so tough to pick against the Patriots in Foxborough, just because you know the last several AFC Championship games have gone through the Patriots, and you know most of the time it's like in Foxborough, so yeah, it's it's so tough. But you know, with this game, man. I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to take the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to get a little bit of an upset just because okay. I think the Chargers are the better team. But they're going against history here, man. Like, Phillip Rivers doesn't have that signature big win yet. And I'm a yeah. huge Phillip Rivers guy. I love the way he works just with the way, first of all, he's a great quarterback. Second of all, he talks a lot of shit, which I think is funny for a quarterback. He has all these <laughs> funny releases of the football um, they're just a, they're a fun team to like, you know. They have yeah. about five different wide receivers with the last name Williams. I can't keep up with them all. Uh, Melvin Gordon, when he's not hobbling around the field, you know, he's always pretty well. Not to mention that stellar defense that they've got, mm, led yeah. by my old head ball coach and Gus Bradley. But I mean, they're firing all kinds of cylinders. Uh, I've got. I, I think I'm going to take the Chargers here, even though. I feel at the, at the end of the day, we're going to see the Patriots in the Super Bowl after all this speculation of who's going to be there. Usually at the end of the day, it's the Patriots, but let me go with the Chargers. Going with the Chargers. Okay. I am going to absolutely respectfully disagree with you, UCF Jaguar. I'm going, going? with the New England oh, Patriots. Give God. me the evil empire. Of course you are. They have built an empire. They are the guys who get it done in the postseason. Undefeated that. at home. The yeah. Los Angeles Chargers, you had a great point, UCF. They have an all-around phenomenal team, and that was very impressive what they were able to do against the Baltimore Ravens. But here's the thing, though. The Baltimore Ravens on offense, they couldn't get shit done offensively. Lamar yeah. Jackson, I mean, what did he complete? Like four? No, no. no he, like less than he 10 He started passes. doing a little bit better in the second half. Well, in the fourth quarter. You know, and, and you know, and I hope, hopefully, he, you know, he has a, you know, uh, he bounces back in next year, and I think he will. But they don't, ha they didn't have any offense going in that game. 
that's not going to be the case for the New England Patriots here at home. Where they're the best, they're the best right here at home. So I'm going with the New England Patriots, the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Chargers. Melvin Gordon, he's hobbling right now. He's going to go into this game. He's not going to be 100. Yeah, scare me. And that, yeah, I mean, in the last game he had 17 attempts for 40 yards and a and a touchdown. Now he, I don't think he's going to go off in this game. Philip Rivers. Yeah, he's been having a great season, but like UCF said, history says that uh, he's going to get the better of here in New England. I'm going with the Patriots, guys. Come on. Look, no disrespect to the Chargers. They had a great year, but Hmm. we're talking the Patriots playoffs at home. I'm Hmm. going with New England, man. Top five Hmm. offense in in terms of yards, fourth in scoring, so like I said, they ain't going to be the Baltimore Ravens offensively. Okay. Now, their weakness is their defense. They're 21st in uh, in terms of yards throughout yeah. the season. Uh, but they're 7th in uh, in scoring defense, and they're 7th in takeaways. So don't think yeah. that this defense is something to be slept on at all. You know, they can make some plays here. Yeah. But I'm going with New England. Give me New England. Okay. Okay. So, Sean? UCF with Chargers. Break the tiebreaker. Okay. Yeah, I got to be the tiebreaker here. See <laughs> Well, they'll make great points. Uh, Patriots. Yes, the yes, Fucking yes. Patriots. Yep, yep, yep. They're always in it. I'm tired of it. Yep. But then so, my points are pretty damn good, too. Yeah. Yep. You know, I look at this, and it's in Foxborough. It, it is. is Tom Brady. It but when I'm Tom. looking at this game, yeah. yeah, you know, you make a good point. Like, oh, well, Lamar Jackson didn't do that great. Well, it's because that Chargers defense shut them down. They ran. What I like about what they did last week is that they ran three safeties. They didn't hardly have any linebackers on the field at all. What that tells me is that they like to take chances, and they will literally change up their defense according to their plan. Is that going to work against Tom Brady? I think it will. Because you know what? Joey Bosa and Mel Ingram. Ingram had himself a day against the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, the most elusive quarterback in the NFL right Seems now. Seems like you're going one way. So, I am going to go Chargers. Oh! Hey, because, look up. at this, look at this, bolt okay? Up. I look at the, the matchups here. Chargers, 11th total offense, okay? Six scoring offense, just right behind the Patriots, who are fourth. Now, Patriots do have a good offense, but their defense is 21st against the pass, against a, uh, 22nd against a pass. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, these guys are going to go off, man. And Char- Chargers' defense are ninth. I'm looking at this, well, and I just feel like they if, can make enough plays. If Melvin Gordon, UCF, Sean, if Melvin Gordon, he's hobbled, he can't be 100%, which it looks like he's not going to be able to, and he didn't look like that for, like, what? After yeah. he got that he got, he got knee, knee yeah. in that Baltimore game, he looked sluggish, man. He, he couldn't really get going. But, but listen. They still have Eckler. They, yeah, okay, but is that going to be enough? I think the Patriots could take away that running game. They're going to they're gonna be able to have an answer for Keenan Allen. They could make them pretty one-dimensional. But the uh, thing uh, is, for the Chargers' offense, what's great about the Chargers' offense, even if they can't run the ball, they still run the ball essentially with these dump-off passes to running backs, which can just be just as effective. And Eckler was getting a bunch of those last game. But the thing is, the Ravens were shutting that down because it was the Ravens; they were the number one defense. Mm-hmm. I don't see that happening with the Patriots. No. So I am gonna go. I, I'm, I'm. I think Chargers gonna win. I was saying it all year that I think the Chargers are better than the Patriots. And so why would I have? To, I can't go against them. Ooh. UCF, anything you want to add there? I mean, I mean, it's just interesting to me because there's a, there's a couple different matchups I, I'm really looking forward to. First of all, the Patriots going to have to find a way to contain Joey Boza and Melvin Ingram. I mean, if they're going to pressure Brady, if they're going to rattle Brady. I mean, that's that's a huge key, man. They've got to hit Brady early. They got to make yeah. him feel uncomfortable. You know, I know he's a little. It's a little bit better when you're getting pressure at the middle, just so, because he's. Uh, usually likes to step up in the pocket and fire it deep and stuff like that. But man, if they can if they can find a way to get pressure on on him like that, I mean they got they've got a hell of a secondary. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be good. Another thing I'm looking forward to, man, is we haven't had enough of these matches when it comes to Brady versus Rivers in the playoffs. I've I haven't seen enough of it, and I'm excited to see it back. You know, back in the day we always had Peyton Manning uh versus versus Tom Brady. This is really as close as it gets in the AFC when it comes to, you know, old legend versus like old legend. And yeah. uh, I'm just I'm just I'm I'm excited to see it, man. I, I'm so pumped up to see it. And uh really th- those are my main things. But I, I just feel like when it comes to skill all over the place, I feel like the the Chargers are honestly better on both sides of the ball. But you know, when you look at it, the Patriots, whenever they have Belichick and Brady 
I mean, they can run out any kind of player out there, and they're yeah. they're able to win games. So mm-hmm. sure. uh, it, it's really it's really interesting. I, I'm really intrigued by this whole matchup. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great game either way. It really would. And if the Chargers were are able to pull this off and continue Oof. that road win uh, streak. That'd be really something to see, and I would be happy for Philip Rivers, man. Right. I mean, this is, I mean, how, who knows how long he's got more to go? Yeah, you know. And, and don't forget, even though the Chargers are fifth seed, they could have easily been the number one seed, easily. Mm. They're right there. Mm. So yeah, probably- yeah, but as much as much as you say, you know, Rivers be on his last leg. I mean, this could be Tom Brady's last game. You know what I'm saying? Like he, with with this year, I mean, you've seen some signs where because I remember one thing that was really telling to me was. During the Buffalo Bills game, you know, he was at Buffalo and he was kind of walking around the stadium way before the game, just kind of looking around and just taking it all in just because, you know, he's played great there. Obviously, he's played there every single year of his career. You know, I bet he's only probably if he's lost any games, it's probably only like two. Mm -hmm. But just some of the some of the things this year and he's talking about family and stuff like that. I mean, this could be Tom Brady's last run. I know it seems like he might have another year or so left in him, but he's got kids. His wife just sells, always wanting to get out of it. So, you know, as much as we want to see Phil Rivers win some more, I mean, this we could be seeing Tom Brady's last game. You never know. You like know what? That. You saying all that convinces me even more. <laughs> convinces me even more that Tom Brady is going to get this get win. Patriots are going to win this uh, this coming up weekend. Get out that, of This get is the it. Sunday early game, right? Uh, Yes, early Sunday game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so guys, that's our thoughts. We want to know yours in the comment section down below. Let us know who you got in this very oh, juicy yeah. matchup. You already know me and UCF are going to be right. And once again, go subscribe to our boy UCF Jaguar, who will be streaming this weekend for these playoff games. Yep. And uh, we're going to be streaming as well. So, you know, hang out with us. Hang out with UCF. And it uh, should be a whole lot of fun. And guys, we'll see you guys this weekend. UCF, thank you so much for joining us, man. You're awesome. Thanks for having me on, man. Love you, boys. Can't wait for this weekend. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys this weekend.